We come into this world totally defenseless, a bundle of soft, toothless cartilage that can't roll over, focus, or hold in its own spit. Then, while you're lying there all helpless, some doctor walks in and chops off the end of your penis. <laughs> Who's a happy baby? Who is? Who? Yes, you are. Jeez, like seeing your favorite bar with all the lights on. It's a boy. Yeah. Nobody hits my kid but me. Before you can protect others, you have to be able to protect yourself. Self-preservation is the most natural of instincts. It's why your arms are this long, so you can cover your head. Otherwise, your hands would be right here. I mean, it's why the dinosaurs died. <laughs> Dad, I don't want to fight the monkey! You don't gotta fight him, just get my lighter. Okay, now you gotta fight him. When you start protecting people, you can become a role model. Being a role model, pfft, easy. We all play roles. My niece will play the role of a young girl being called a slut by a punk at school. I will play the role of the big, angry, scary guy with a bat. The bat will play itself. I call it the persuader. Well, I, well, I know now. Aaron's niece has been living with us for three months. She's my responsibility. I'm not gonna let some bully harass her. I hate bullies. You're gonna beat up a kid with a bat! <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> Don't do this. Tommy, you know what? We're in a high school. I'm not gonna beat up some kid with a bat. I'm gonna threaten a kid with a bat. No. <laughs> Keep your eye on the door. Mm. <laughs> Brett Deaver? Uh, yeah, kind of busy right now. Listen up, loser. Amy Ferrer is my niece. Yeah, she just moved in with him three months ago. Have you used any of the following phrases in regard to my niece? Snack pack, stank ho, <laughs> or juicy pudding. <laughs> Our Amy, full of emotional walls. You know, Tommy, it's not as intimidating when you keep interrupting me. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever? Let me tell you something, you little punk. Amy is my responsibility now. And if you even look at her sideways, and I hear about it, that will not be a visual aid. That will be you. Go ahead and hit me. I'll sue you for everything. Oh, go ahead and hit me. I need me anything. <laughs> look around. Nobody here. Those are my friends. And a urinal can't testify in a court of law. <laughs> Mr. Titus. Why, Principal Wells? Please, please, call me witness for the prosecution. All right, all of you, in my office, now. I believe you know the way. Oh, no, I'm not going in your office. We're not 17 anymore. Er, duh. Do it. We're adults. You trespassed on school grounds and threatened one of my students with a bat. Oh, that little punk was calling my niece a slut, Principal Smells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, I called you Smells. I used to do it behind your back, but now I can do it to your face, and you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Smells! <laughs> You assaulted a minor, Mr. Titus. You're going to jail. Smells like a summer breeze. <laughs> Mark. Ha! Ah, uh, you smell good too, Mark. <laughs> okay, all right, guys, 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 call Aaron, call Aaron. Really, seriously, what is that, chaps? <laughs> I hate to take advantage of Aaron's special power over men, but go to jail? <laughs> no way, I have a delicate digestive system, and I couldn't take cream corn Tuesdays. <laughs> hey, can I borrow a number two pencil? You're out of here. Expelled! Uh, but, but, Principal Wells, I can't help but wonder, is Christopher failing school or is the school failing Christopher? I think the school's failing Christopher. Yeah, Principal Smells. <laughs> Shut up, idiot! Ow!
Please. All right, I'll speak to your niece and find out what really happened. <laughs> Honey, that was amazing. You were just so... A bat? Yes, I threatened a kid with a bat. But I used to be a psycho. <laughs> Sorry, dear. <laughs> it's okay. Honey. a kid my way. With a bat. And you raise a kid your way with a lot of hugging and failure. <laughs> Christopher, Amy is my responsibility, too. If there was a problem with her, you should have told me. Hey, I don't need permission to set things right with the world, huh? Huh? Did Batman need permission? No, he's right. Superman didn't need a note from Mummy. <laughs> and Aquaman told the fish what to do. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stuff got done. Yeah. Bam! 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 <laughs> well, if one of the super friends would have asked me, I would have told them that Brett's dad and Amy's dad have been friends for years. And Brett and Amy have been teasing each other since they were little kids, Christopher. They probably like each other. They were flirting. Well, then he should have punched her in the arm or wiped a booger on her like a normal teenager. <laughs> That's oh. very nice. Why don't you sit on the thing you just told me to bite? So I'm in class, actually paying attention, you know, trying to bring my F up to a D. Yeah, I've tried to climb that mountain. <laughs> when I get dragged out because my guardian is fighting in the boys' bathroom. But no, 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 no. As misguided and horrifying as it was, Amy, he was defending your innocence. Chew my boob, homo. <laughs> Pull it out then. Tommy! <laughs> oh, you talk the talk, but you don't walk the walk. <laughs> homo that! <laughs> At ease! And you too, you little bird. You told me Brett's been harassing you for three months. You didn't tell me you've known him since you were a fetus. <laughs> of course she didn't. She's a lying drug dealer. I'm not lying, and I'm not the one that sells pornography out of his locker. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that, huh? He is a porn peddler. I can't believe you let this exist in your school. You are single-handedly ruining this country. Smells. <laughs> because of Aaron, I was gonna let this go. But I'd hate to take down the country, Mr. Titus. <laughs> so, Brett, go back to class. And I'm searching Amy's locker for drugs. Not if I get there first. <laughs> Ferret-faced little freak. Five minutes, and you've already got them violating my Fourth Amendment rights. Good job, horse teeth. <laughs> How could a simple attack with a bat go so horribly wrong? <laughs> My father taught me how to protect people. My father's love always protected me. Like a magnifying glass protects an ant from the sun. <laughs> ah! Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Dad, help! Ah! Uh, hey, guys, you, it was just a finger on the freeway. Oh, I did, and it wasn't even the right finger. Hey, you can't beat up a blind guy. Dad, I'm not blind. Amy, you said you wouldn't sell drugs anymore. I am very disappointed in you. That stuff's not mine. Well, there you go, it's not hers. <laughs> what the hell is that? You believe her? No, you gotta look her in the eyes. No kid can look you in the eye and lie to you. <laughs> Amy, is the pot yours? No. I can't tell she's not human. <laughs> If I was gonna sell pot, do you think I'd be stupid enough to keep it in my locker? 
<laughs> Dave? The locker had a lock on it. That's why they call them lockers. They don't call them open for teachers to look in, errs. Err. Good afternoon, babies. Principal Wells, that's lettuce. Yeah, if you give me some sauerkraut and some corned beef, I'll make you a Reuben. There's no lettuce in a Reuben. You want to buy some pot? I don't sell pot anymore. You told me to stop, and I stopped. We found it in your locker. My locker? Were there any papers in it? Any books in it? No. I don't use that locker because it's near Brett's, and I am sick of hearing him say, for a hoe, you have a nice crapper. Oh. Do you hear that, hoe, crapper? Huh? Is that flirting? I think you owe me an apology. Go ahead. Okay, I'll help you out. Christopher, I am so s fine. I keep everything in my book bag. Here, check that if you want. But what do I have to do to get you to trust me? Have less than a kilo of pot in your locker? <laughs> I don't need to look in it. Thank you, honey. Now that is how you raise a child. Hey, 80s diary. Cool. I get to read disturbed rantings from the mind of an angry teenager. <laughs> Dave, lighten up. That's the title. Oh. <laughs> hey, short bus, that's mine. Oh! Oh! Fun. Mr. Wells? Yes. Frank Deaver, I'm Brett's dad. Oh, thank God, a real human being. They're in. Hey, hey, Frank. So, which one of these guys threatened my kid with a bat? <laughs> well, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. Hey, whoa, 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 bring it down. Stop the screaming. <laughs> We're supposed to be role models for our children here. Amy, hi, how you been? I'm going back to class. Not until we find out where these drugs came from. They were mine, you dopey little dwarf. You're all idiots. What? Hey, you lied? I went to bat for you. Well. I lied about everything. Brett harassing me, the drugs, everything. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, I knew it when I looked in her eyes. Uh, Amy! Ah. <laughs> Oh, well, I think we're done here. I apologize to Frank. And we're back. Yeah, this stuff is great. Uh, Amy wrote this story about these three guys, right? And this red-headed guy is a total idiot. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? You get back in there and apologize to Frank. No, I am not talking to him. Amy, Amy. Frank is a friend of your family. When your parents were in prison, he drove you to school and, and work and prison. What the hell is your problem? Frank used to do things to me, all right? When? When I was little, he used to touch me. What? Do you need me to show you on a doll? All right, all right, look, I was upset. I threatened your kid with a bat, and for that, I am some silly stuff. Hey! <laughs> okay, now you're making me look like a freak. You yes, molested my oh, niece! What are you talking about? Amy said that you molested her! You're stuck! Aaron, Aaron, Aaron! Honey, 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 honey! Calm down. <sighs> I never touched Amy. I'm gonna kill you! No, no, no! no. Hey, hey, hey! I bought that on Mykonos. Erin, Amy is a troubled kid. Oh, I get it now. The short, hairy guy's gay. You are a dead man. Yeah, keep looking at me. Oh, oh. this is ridiculous. Okay, guy, dude, you didn't touch my niece, right? No, are you kidding? She's like Brett. She'd say anything to stay out of trouble. Yeah, I did the same thing, man. <laughs> too. <laughs> but, hon, she lied. She's a teenager. She lied again. No, no, she's telling the truth.
truth this time. You didn't see her face out there. I saw her face when she lied to my face. Oh, I won't sell pot anymore. You saved my life. You're a hero, Titus. You're my savior. She didn't say that. Her eyes said it. <laughs> okay, just stay here. I will go talk to her. A reckless accusation can ruin a person's life, any person's, like my high school rival, Mario Capono of Fremont, California. His life would suck if somebody went on national television and just said out loud that he prances around in women's underwear. Man, I hope that never happens to Mario Capono of Fremont, California. <laughs> All right, get on your feet. Do you know you could ruin someone's life with what you told Aaron in there? Huh? Okay, you want to sell pot and ruin your own life? Fine. But let me tell you something, Missy. There comes a time when you're gonna have to stand up and, oh my God, I sound like a parent. <laughs> no. I skateboard, I wakeboard, and I build hot rods. You do not get to turn me into an adult. You're done. You're going back to your parents. If we can locate them. Okay. 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 No bite me, you big ass Nazi bastard. <laughs> I'm serious. I am threatening you with your own parents here. <laughs> oh, well, come on, at least give me an insult. I'm a brush cut fascist. I'm a dinosaur headed doofus. My head could be a monument to right angles. Let's go. <laughs> Aaron's got quite a temper. Amy, we should talk. Oh, but not till she gives me a decent insult. Come on. Hey! But I... Amy's obviously having problems. Well, you're not kidding, man. She usually spends half an hour on my giant Bronto head. <laughs> no, I was like the only real father she ever had. And maybe I should go talk to her. Kids lie all the time, right? I mean, was the boy who cried wolf really lying, or, or were there three wolves? Uh, I gotta get some more marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, aren't the acoustics in here great? Great, 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 great. I lied about everything. Frank didn't touch me. What, what now, now I'm supposed to believe that? Believe whatever you want, Skullface. You know, you said it, but I'm not feeling it. <laughs> A tattoo of a rose down there. Uh, what? What? It's in a poem in Amy's journal. She titled the poem, There's a Rose on Frank's Penis. <laughs> yeah, she's great with titles. <laughs> there is not. Oh, cool. Let me at it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got it. Uh, look what we gotta do now. Come here. Oh, no, 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 no! I will have you in it! Rest in it! Ah! Ah! Say my name! Dave! Not you! Shut up! You can't protect your children. You think that you can, but then you notice you left the baby seat on top of the car after you got home from the supermarket. <laughs> or you let them spend the night at one of your friends' house. They could be there right now, watching TV, playing video games, whatever. And when that kid gets home, they're never the same again. And no matter what you do, or who you hurt, or even kill, you can never make what happened to them go away. So whatever you do, don't let your kids visit the home 
of Mario Capono of Fremont, California. <laughs> come here, come here! What? What? Did you just forget it was there? You will never convict me of this. It's her word against mine. That's exactly what you said when I was little. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, seriously, guys, that's please, it. please don't do it! Don't do it! Relax. The important thing right now is Amy. You're right. You're right. The best thing for all of us is to help Amy get through this. I agree 100%. Wow. Really? God. Man, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Amy? Let the healing begin. <laughs> oh, wait. I'll go get security. Oh, come on! It'll take about five minutes. <laughs> or maybe 30. <laughs> Call me when I'm done. <laughs> Come into this world defenseless. That's why God gave us baseball bats. <laughs> well, he gave us trees, but uh, we knew what he meant. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> I... Damn it! <laughs> Funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.